All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to play Gwen in the top lane. Uh, for the best wins for Gwen, I would always recommend going for Conquer right now, uh, while also taking Presence of Mind, Alacrity, uh, Last End, Bone Plate, and Unflinching. Uh, together with this, you want to take Attack Speed, uh, one point into Adaptive Force, and Armor. Now, depending on the matchup that you're going to play against, you could either go for a Dorn's Ring or for a Dorn's Shield as a starter item. Typically, I like to go with Dorn's Ring most of the time because, of course, you want to have like uh, some kind of way to get your mana back. And, of course, Dorn's Ring is the best for that. So, Now, in regards to the entire build, I will place down the entire build right below the YouTube video, guys. So, definitely make sure to check that out. But, with that being said, we're playing as NR right now. Uh, this is definitely a very interesting matchup. Very interesting and unique way of, of beating this guy in lane. Let's get into it. I'm actually going to take a push here. I want to try to get level 2 first before he does. So yeah, typically you can either choose between starting off with your Q or starting off with your E. I should have actually started off with E. That would have been better. Ooh, we're getting like the full damage off. Ooh, we're getting like a cheese in him early. He did not expect my flash Q, I think. That's good. So yeah, typically when you play Gwen, uh, you could either start off with your Q, which is uh, which can be done in certain like Bruiser matchups, or you can start off with E, which is a very aggressive way to start off. They have a Lee Sin as their jungler, so we have to be very, very careful about how we approach him right now. Ooh, perfect. And we have my jungler coming over as well. Ooh, we got him. Nice gank by Ribbon. Hmm. Ooh, that was pretty close. I'm gonna block the Q from. Oh, is he about to get outplayed? Yep. Man, that Ribbon just got outplayed there for a second. So what we're going to do right now is push in the wave as hard as possible. I think that we're not going to be able to do that in time because Nar should already be back at any second now. But, um, well, maybe. Okay, we're actually fast enough. This guy hasn't came back yet. So what we're going to do now, typically the first item that I always tend to go for with Gwen is always going to be Riftmaker. Very standard. Um, if you're into a very difficult matchup like, you know, Jax, for example, or in this case, we're playing against Nar. If you have a lot of trouble in these matchups, you could also buy uh, Steel Caps as the very first item. So it's kind of situational. If you're having a hard time, Steel Caps it is. If you're having an easy time and you think you're going to 1v9 anyways, uh, go for a Rift Maker uh, as soon as possible. Because the sooner you get a Rift Maker, you know, sustain everything together is going to help so much. Oh, this guy's going to transform very soon. Good. Hmm. I have, one, I have a little trick. You can, like, kind of move around with your Q and E all the time. And I'll play your opponent with this. Perfect. Alright. Let's hold the wave like this. We're going to slow push it into Gnar right now. We're going to build up the wave as big as possible. And then hopefully... See if we can get like an all-in off on this guy. Hmm. Okay, we're getting some decent damage off on him. We haven't got level 60 yet, but this is looking good. If he stays in lane right now, we can actually kill him at level, uh, at level 6. Under a tower, probably. Perfect. We got my ultimate right now. We've got Riff in here as well, so we can probably kill him between the two turrets. That would be perfect. Let's take a look. 
We're just gonna uh, cheese him. Hmm. He will come eventually. That not, he's taking pretty long. I think he's very well aware of this. Nice. Got him. This now is pretty much done. Sit in between the two turrets to get it with my jungler. No way for him to win that one. Now, one, uh, one tiny thing I want to talk about when you play Gwen. This is probably one of the most important mechanics of Gwen in general. Uh, um, there's two things. His W, but also his E. There's a huge, like, outplay thing to it. Uh, let's go back real quick. So, basically, if you play Gwen top and you have your E, you never just want to randomly press your E, but you want to um, time it out perfectly in your combos, right? Um... Let me quickly explain. So if you drop an auto, like an auto attack on a creep, for example, or on a champion, and you immediately do like a short E afterwards, as close to your champion as possible, you can get like an E, like an auto E into another auto off in a matter of probably less than a second instantly, which is extremely strong. It's, it's like very, it's like, no one really talks about it, but it's like... Really, really good. So, just to demonstrate, you auto. So, you auto and then you E right away afterwards. As soon as, like, as quickly as possible. And you definitely save, like, at least some, uh, some seconds with it. Before you can do your, like, your next auto. Oh, whoops. Messed up that one. Uh, let's see if we can all in this guy. Okay. Let's push down this one. Lee Sin is currently in their jungle. There's Nar right here. Oh. Hmm. My, my teammates could kill him right now. I'll take my I'll take my time to push this one. This guy's dead. Hmm. Oh, I messed it up. Hmm. I'm probably dead. Woo. Yeah, he hit that one. Oof. I actually messed up right here. If I had like one auto attack on Nar or one auto attack on Sidus or anyone really, I would have I would have had the fully charged Q and then probably being able to like turn around instantly after that. But I kind of messed up that part. I only had three stacks on my Q, which led me to losing a lot of damage. Unfortunately, that was not what I intended. It's okay though. Let's help out this guy. Oh, I still got hit anyways by the by the Jenna. I'll take down this guy first so he doesn't run. Got two kills. They got the turret though. Now let's push. And then we go back afterwards, immediately buying the next item. Nice. Now we go back. We got my Rift Maker right, right now. Fortunately, it's not going that well in bot lane, but it is what it is. People having bad games. Uh, let's go Rift Maker. Let's buy the Red Trinket. And I'll buy a Country Ward. He also spawned Herald in top. Okay, no problem. We're going to be farming this out. Maybe we could even 1v2 if we do it properly. This Nara is like really far behind, so. Four shots as hard as possible. Man, Gwen with Presence of Mind is feels really good. 
I played a little bit Triumph before, but it never felt good. Ballin is losing uh, pretty hard, actually. Nice. Got the turrets. Lee might be coming top. Just gonna hard push this one. Uh, yeah, like I said. Hmm. I got him. Thank you very much. No problem for me. Thank you very much. Like I said earlier, this is not a problem when Lee Sin's gonna come in. I can just want to do both of them. I just have to be very careful with how I approach them. You know, I definitely took my time with my ultimate to do the most damage possible in the shortest amount of time. Like, think about... I don't know if you guys have played, like, played the old Aurelia back in the day, but the ultimate was pretty much the same. Like, you want to do as much damage as possible before you all in by uh, throwing as many ults. And when they get low enough, then you proceed and go for your land. Very straightforward. Mm, we got a Riven here as well. Nice. Got everything here. I would like to try to kill this guy again, but... Sure. Put some damage off at least. Uh, Riffin's dead. Can't really help him out. Alright, uh, they're gonna come for me though, so I have to walk right now. Our next item is gonna be Nash's Tooth, and once we have that item, everything, every problem will be solved. Nash's nah, Tooth is going to allow us to want to like 1v2 in the side lanes even more. Nice. Let's take the wolves as well, including mid lane. Perfect. Now we can buy Nash's Tooth. Couldn't hit my ultimate on these guys, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Whatever. Or. Ooh, we're getting some kills here. Great. The kill went to Pike, but whatever. We're going to go back now. We will definitely buy Nasus Tooth as the second item. And then the, our next item is... Probably going to be Morello. Stop their healing. Not sure yet. We also go for Zanias. We also have Morello. Thinking more about going for uh, Zanias specifically. Because that Savior is growing huge right now. Let's take all of this. Now we push up next wave again. We're going to have this kind of like split pushing uh, playstyle right now. Push up the next wave. <laughs> That's the most interesting thing ever. Apparently this side is playing with a very unique build. Let's look at this. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there to be honest. People trying like off meta builds. Well, let's see who's gonna come over. We're gonna have a lot of fun split pushing right now. Oh man, feels so satisfying to play Gwen when you get to this point in the game. 
push up next wave. Uh, I mean turrets. Look how fast we can take down turrets. I'm gonna help out these guys a bit. Or... Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got some really insane damage off right there because I hit every single opponent uh, with. Um, I hit every single opponent with all of my ultimates, including my Q as well. So I did like the maximum damage there. I'm just not really sure if I used my Q when I had like stacks up. I think I messed up that part. I'm not sure. Might have to recheck that. Don't remember if I did. But. Let's see if there's anything we can take here. Ooh, we got severe. Okay, back to farming again. We got 3.5k gold right now. Great. Now just keep farming out. They, none of the none of them can kill me anymore. Oh, I got kicked out of my W. That's not very good. I need my W to fight this guys. Oh, sweet. Wow, that Ash ultimate was so good, actually. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> that was a really good one. Got a free kill because of that Ash ultimate. You see, like, Gwen as a top laner, you can 1v9 pretty easily with this champion. Champion speaks for itself. You can do ridiculous damage in team fights. Your W allows you to like 1v1 with your opponent and not get any damage off anyone else. Um, yeah, nothing really much more to say. Like Q does insane damage if you hit like multiple opponents with it too. Uh, let's actually go for Zonias here. I'll including this, I will also buy uh, Morello. Now, all we need is one more item, which is probably going to be either Void Staff, Rabidon, or... I'm thinking about going for Rabidon, but at the same time, I'm thinking about going for Morellos as well. I mean, not Morellos, I mean Void Staff. Uh, let's get the Repo for myself. Oh, I'm helping out this guy. I mean, there's not really much more to say to this, honestly. <laughs> this champion has so many broken things to it, man. <laughs> this champion is so... This champion is such a joke, to be honest. <laughs> I did instant damage. I got an instant penta. I just hit every opponent with my ultimate. And my Q. Like, if this doesn't show that Gwen is uh, strong yet, then I, I don't know what will, to be honest, man. Uh, let's get this guy here. So, now we have... Uh, now we got Void Staff. We got the final item. Let's build it now. All we have to get is... Oh, wait. I'll definitely take that one. You can't really escape. Yep, we got him. Uh, we could actually continue pushing right now. Hmm. Like, we have the choice whether we go for Rabbit or for Void Staff. I'm typically thinking about Void Staff because of the... They could start building uh, Magic Resist at this point. Think about getting Void Staff now, then Rebidence as my replacement for Boots. Or we could do the opposite. Could also work pretty well. 
Actually, we missed every single ultimate this time. Hmm. Thank you. Still have my Zanius as well. Hmm, we could chase him down, but if we don't really have anything to chase. So we're just going to leave that up to Pike. We can just continue pushing. That's only Silas right now. What's this guy gonna do? He doesn't stand a chance. Ooh. We could kill him right now. Oh, I could press my Zonius in time. I think even if I had my Zonius going off, I think I would have probably died anyways. Because I wouldn't be able to charge my Q. Maybe if I slightly uh, played it differently with my W, I might have been able to like turn everything around. Probably. But either way, we now have the choice. We can go for Void Staff or we could buy Rabbitum. I'm thinking about just going for Rabbitum now. And then replacing my uh, my my boots with um, void staff. I think I'm actually gonna sell it already, uh, just so I can get even more AP. Uh, where is it? There we go. All we need now is to get my void staff completed, and we're gonna have like insane damage. I I just get to realize now actually that I've never had to use my uh, teleport in this game like ever. But yeah, once I have Void Staff now, together with Rabidon, like, they, they could probably forget about their entire game, because I just doubled my AP right now. We went from, like, 350 AP, or specifically 375 AP, to 700. So, yeah, let's take a look at my damage now. Now it's going to be completely different. I think I'm just going to play it safe, though. We're going to stay with my team. I'm not going to go 1v9 mode. Oh, this one's actually been stolen. I don't think it matters anyway. We could just go mid with the full team together. Oh, there's this guy over here. Oh, my auto does like 300 damage. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my ultimate destroyed them in one... Oh, what? My ultimate did like a thousand damage. Not even my last ultimate. <laughs> wow. Like, I've never really... Like, I played Gwen um, several times already. But I've never really got to this point yet where I had like so many items being so early in the game. So I'm honestly kind of surprised at all the damage I do. Okay. Now, for the most fun part... Let's take a look and see how much damage we've done. Of course, we're also going to be taking a look at the runes as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I think I'm probably going to give the honor to the AD carry because this guy plays ADC and he was auto-filled. So, got to give it to this guy. So yeah, this was a uh, a draft game to show you guys how Gwen is being played out. Uh, for the damage, we've done 45k damage uh, for the runes. Uh, this is pretty much what I would recommend in, I suppose, 99% of every game that you play. Very straightforward. Presence of mind specifically is what you will need. Uh, bone plate. Um, if you play against like a poking matchup, go for second wind. If you play against Bruiser... Uh, or in this case, we're playing against Nardis game, which was fine too. Uh, bone play will do fine. That's perfect. You know, as long as you can proc it when they go for the all-in. And they will do loads of autos on you. This is going to work out for you. And lastly, we have on flinching. People like to go with Revitalize for some reason when they play Gwen. Which, I don't understand. Like, I know her healing is really good. But why would you go Revitalize if you can also go for unflinching? Which, once again, it's just really good on her. Typically, I would recommend this instead. But, um, 
One more thing, guys, before this entire YouTube video ends, um, this game is being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, definitely make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video, guys. But uh, thank you for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.